when I was getting into whiskey, this is what confused me the most. In the UK, when you could buy whiskey at the supermarket, so I'd be walking into the supermarket, go down to the whiskey section, and there would be blended whiskey, single malt whiskey, and blended malt whiskey. So how are they different? Well today, I'm gonna fill you in with what a single malt whiskey is, and hopefully that will help you with your next whiskey buying experience. So, grab a dram, grab a seat, and let's... Welcome to First Fill Whiskey. If you're new to this channel, we banter about whiskey with what you need to know about whiskey. And it's especially good for maybe you're just getting into it, it's a bit confusing, and you just wanna know that little bit more to enhance your experience, just that little bit more. Well, this is for you. Or maybe you know lots about whiskey, and you just wanna banter about whiskey, we can do that as well, so. Beauty, let's do it. found myself a bottle. Now, these bottles are confusing. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. If you're just getting into whiskey, this can be pretty intimidating. So over the next few weeks, I'm gonna be going through different tips about all the stuff on the front, but there's one thing I wanna go through today is right here. Single malt scotch, three words, three different things we can learn from it. So the first word is single. Single just means it's from a single individual distillery. And the cool thing about this is it means it's got its own unique physical location, its own story, backstory, its own character in one place. You can visit this place. Yeah, a bit like a vineyard. When you go to visit a vineyard or you have a bottle of wine and you, you can see the brand of the vineyard. Same thing. Even though whiskey's made of quite simple materials, water, yeast, barley, and then whatever it's aged in, each distillery has a, its own unique taste. So why is that? Well, it's a huge variety of factors. The length of fermentation time, the style, the size of the stills, how they are operated, the type of condensers they use, the amount of spirit that saved. This is also called the cut. We'll get into all that stuff in another video, but basically big idea is that each distillery has got a real unique individual character. Barrels are there, it's good. Malt, malt, next word is malt. Malt means that the whiskey is only made by malted barley. So no, no other grains, no maize, no, none of that stuff, just barley. And barley was kind of the original grain of Scotland. And even though there was other grains used, barley was the one that was specifically used for beer and whiskey. Fertile fields whose rich soil supports the crops of barley which will later find themselves clean and steeped in fresh water and spread out on watering floors, and each delivery is carefully checked before it is stored in the barley loft. Now, one thing, in Scotland, 100% barley, all barley, but in the US it's different. You only need to have 51% barley to put malt in the name. So, you gotta look at what sort of bottle you're buying. So that pretty much covers it for single malt. So I think we've gone through that, but there's other words you'll come across like single malt scotch. Scotch, so scotch just means it's made from whiskey in Scotland. By law, all scotch whiskies for the home market have to mature for at least three years, and the casks in which they're stored are all important. Although, Generally, when most people think of single malt, they'll just think of scotch. But there are other single malts from other countries, like the US is doing them, Canada's doing them. Just one second. This one's from Japan. Yochi, that is a single malt. But notice, you, there's no word scotch. Scotch from Scotland. If you don't have the word scotch, well, it could be, it could be anywhere. But still a single malt, still made from one distillery, still from Bali. All right, beauty. Next word. Blended. Now blended means that it's not just from a single grain, it's from multiple grains like wheat and maize. And the other thing about blends is they're not just from one distillery, they're from multiple distilleries. They'll take some notes from Speyside, they'll take some smoke from Isla, and they'll put it together 
into a blend. And the other good thing about blends is that they're quite consistent year to year. So each year, if you go buy a bottle, you're probably gonna get a quite similar thing. Whereas with single malt, they change year to year. But that's what makes single malt more individual. They're coming from a smaller pool of barrels and it's, it tells you more about the distillery, whereas a blend is more about the master blender and what they create by mixing up those whiskies. Products of many different distilleries contribute to the final blend. So for most people, your first encounter with whiskey will generally be a blend, not a single malt. And that's because 90% of the output of whiskey out of Scotland is actually blended whiskies, not single malts. You'll see them at every supermarket, every bottle store. These are your Johnny Walkers, your Chivas Regal, and so on. Now, another unique thing, blended malt whiskey. Now this is an interesting one because it comes from multiple distilleries, but it only comes from malted barley. So no grain, no wheat, no maize, just from malted barley. And a good example of this, monkey shoulder. That is a blended malt. Mm. So I've got so many ideas for 2019 and about the sort of videos I wanna do about so many different topics that will help you when you're choosing your whiskey, when you're buying your whiskey. But let me know what topics you want me to cover. Keen to know, let me know in the comments. If you wanna join me over here, consider subscribing and ring that bell. And join me on Instagram, I'm gonna be sharing a whole bunch of stories, of more behind the scenes stuff, little things about whiskey, at First Fill Whiskey. So stay tuned and above all, share and enjoy. Beauty.